Uh, hello, how are you doing? I'm very excited to be here to talk about anxiety. It's a massive issue. Uh, in fact, um, 284 million people currently suffer with anxiety. So it's a huge issue. And those stats are from the World Health Organization. I don't know whether you know them. So uh, it's just a massive issue. Uh, and perhaps it's one you struggle with. Obviously, if you do, then please pay attention. This is something that uh, I'm really excited to share. It's taken over 13 years uh, to get to this point. Um, so it's it's really, um, I'm very passionate about this, as you can probably tell. Um, so this um, story uh, of mine about uh, you know the 13 years, the journey, um, it often starts with, uh, stories like this often start with something that happens. And I guess I contribute my determination back to 2004 when my sister died in the two, uh, 2004 tsunami, the Boxing Day tsunami, um, which is obviously tragic, but also tragic for the 250 thousand other families as well that were affected by that um but uh what what it gave me i think was a, a determination to to see life differently to uh, have a different perspective from my grief but also uh the, the meaning of life for me i, I guess in, in many ways and it's led to me being even more determined to kind of solve the issues that i found myself having uh, and could never solve could never solve. So that's kind of a bit of a background. I had uh, suffered with anxiety. I suffered with panic attacks in the past, um, depression, uh, and they're very closely linked. I think the, the World Health Organization says that um, the stats are 300,000 people suffer with anxiety. And there's a strong, 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 hugely strong link that people recognize between the two. Um, so for me, duvet days felt like people, uh, somebody had pulled a plug on me. And it's just like I had no energy. And I thought there was something wrong with my adrenal gland. Had that checked out. There was so many different things I was trying to find the answer of what was wrong with me why I was so kind of insecure why I was yeah you know, all the things um and I could see it in other people once I started to really focus in on this area this is the problem I wanted to solve and I because I wanted to solve it for myself but I wanted to solve it for others uh, I was in training and development I was uh, I worked in the corporate uh, career in in coaching and leadership I worked at the BBC uh, I got NLP training, so I felt I had a lot of skills, but I just couldn't find out what it is that I needed to solve, either for myself or for the people I was working with. Um, but I found the answer. My tenacity, my being, uh, and maybe uh, my sister dying again, uh, gave me this different perspective on life. Um, and I just dedicated myself to solving this issue. Um, not arrogantly, like I can solve it, but it's just like I, I will solve this determination. I found the answer. And by finding the answer, I created that system to then go backwards uh, and, and create the pathway, the, the, the system to help people like you and me, which you know is obviously what I'm excited about. Like I said, I make it my pur purpose. It became my journey. And it was an uncomfortable journey at times because I was struggling. I was not solving it. I was stuck. Um, but I made it my journey, my purpose. And it's why I'm so excited now uh, to finally share this. Um, and there's three blocks that I want to share. Three blocks that I found that get in the way uh, of, of our lives that stop us uh, living in life fully in the way we want to. So the first block, I won't take much time, but the first block, um, current situations don't go deep enough. Uh, they focus on, on the wrong problem. So kind of like anxiety, there's, there's solutions for anxiety. There's um, weight loss, there's solutions for weight loss. You know, I, I'm pointing up there because those were the solutions that faced those problems. But actually the problem is in a different direction. Uh, and that's what I found. Um, and it made sense of, of why I couldn't change, you know, uh, because that was the question I had. Why can't I change this? So I'm going through all these solutions. If I've got all these tools, why can't then I change? And I didn't understand what was missing, where the gap was. Uh, OK, um, and I, I had this question of why do I feel powerless in my relationships? I could see it so strongly. I was giving away my power. But it's like, why? What's you know, uh, what's the driver for this? And I felt a fraud. I've, I was trying to do it in my business. And it was like, help people because I'm so passionate about that. But it was like, there's something missing here. But I had no idea what the driver beneath this was, that why I was giving away my power, why I felt so anxious, why I was worrying all the time, why I was having this stress. W what was the driver for all this? You know, but I cracked the code. I finally had this system that I traced back so I could help and take people on this pathway to help solve the problem, um, 
which is exciting for me. So let me give you an example. Okay, so Emma joined uh, the program and um, she joined because she had massive anxiety. So really up here, her shoulders are up here. She couldn't talk. It was almost hyperventilating. She gave me an example of, uh, and sometimes she couldn't leave the house because of her anxiety it was so acute. Uh, she gave me the example once that she was uh, doing her shopping in the grocery store and she had to just leave everything because she had a panic attack. She had to leave her trolley in the centre, run to the car, get into the car, you know, get home as soon as possible. But she crashed. She was in such a panic attack. She crashed the car and the policeman said that uh, she was lucky to survive, um, uh, just lucky to be alive. Um, so severe anxiety. However, going through the pathway, what she's managed to do is overcome the anxiety, but not just that, uh, you know, to take control of it, to take control of her anxiety, really overcome it. Uh, and not only that, but when she'd solved that problem, it was like then she felt that then she could um, overcome the other issue that she'd be troubling, um, had been struggling with, which was this kind of yo-yo diet thing. Uh, and of course, she could see how that then linked to the core issues that she had. And she... Um, she lost five stone in quite a period of, uh, of, of, I think it was over a year, um, and has kept it off over the last two years. So people, of course, love a, a weight loss story. They're like, oh, you know, what have you done? What have you done? What is it? What's your secret? And she said, oh, it's this program. It's amazing. It's you know, it's changed my life. It's about my belief. I've seen it. It's, I've changed my belief, and, and now I'm in control. And they kind of gloss over, she'd say. They gloss over. All right. But how did you lose the weight? You know, what did you do? Because they want a diet, they want a fad, they want a you know exercise routine. What is it? Because they can plug into it and do it. You know, they didn't like to hear that it's like changing beliefs. It's like what's that? Um, so, uh, so you know, she did that. She took control of uh, her weight. But then beyond that, with this pathway, uh, what she did was then um, take her power. She she took her power back. She could see how she was giving herself away in all these different relationships and friendships and doing everything for everybody else, but being a doormat, not being valued, not being appreciated. And people would just take the piss. Um, and you know that that's obviously not a pl nice place to be. So she took her power back and transformed relationships, transformed herself in the process. And actually, from this, she became so passionate about the journey, passionate about the pathway, passionate about this stuff. A bit like me, that she was like, "People need to know this." And it's like, "Yes, people do." Um, so she wanted to join, and she's got um, real organisation skills. She was a PA and um, uh, you know uh, her corporate life as well. So um, what she did was started helping me with my organisation because that's not my superpower. It's her superpower. It's not my superpower. So she was awesome in terms of helping me out and also getting involved in the communication in the group and everything like that but then beyond that with more um uh with more support and more understanding she went deeper she took some training outside of uh, of the program about the kind of the underpinnings of the program uh, and what she did was like okay you know this this let's take this further and when you know she wanted to become involved in the pathway i offered her a position in the pathway and now she's part of the team and she's actually the accountability partner on the pathway which is just uh, an awesome story going from that acute anxiety to actually helping other people overcome it and it's um it's a lovely thing so that's a lovely story so that's the first block that's the first block the current current solutions don't go deep enough they're solving the wrong problem uh if you can see my point so um they're, they're focused on the wrong problem that's the first block that gets in the way the second block that stops us in life is that there's something wrong with us <laughs> there's something wrong with us there's something broken we have that belief that something's wrong and i knew i was self-sabotaging myself i was uh stopping myself in business and relationships but i I didn't know why, and it's 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 so annoying. So I, I've used the analogy. Sometimes I I get myself uh, overcome so many things and get to the edge of the swamp. You don't want to be in a swamp, you know. Uh, it's not a great place to be. Um, and then fall back, and it was like, you know, I was doing well. What what's what's taken me to that point? Um, and yeah, I kind of knew it was about beliefs, and I was you know had all the tools to overcome beliefs. I had to cool, you know change your belief in five, you know, all that stuff. But I was still falling back into the swamp and it was like, what is going on? I knew it was centered somehow around these core negative and false beliefs, but I didn't, I didn't have them. Yeah, you know, the, I had a, a piece that was missing. I didn't have the missing piece. Um, each of us is unique. OK, I mean, I know that, you know, you have your own unique uh, experiences. Each of us is different. OK, yet there's a structure. And this is what I was able to trace back when I'd overcome my own. There's a structure that we all follow that I was able to refine that gave me the answer. So uh, this is gorgeous Trina. Trina's from Norway. 
um, going through and finding this deeper aspect. Okay, this is the key bit. Um, it, I, I call it finding the big three. It's a, a document that I have that goes into and takes you through six sequences to get to to, to refine your big three um, core negative false beliefs. And there's one that's a one that's that we call the mother of all beliefs. Uh, so um, going through that process with her, um, it, it was just eye opening for her. She, you know, transformed how. And we'd done a lot of work. She was in the program. And she'd been there, and, and she was getting to the edge of the swamp. You know, and then it's like, what is this? And once I've defined this process, it was like I was really excited to to do it with her. Uh, and this is a, a picture from a session that we did together uh, as on a Zoom. And and I took her through this process, and and she we got to the two, we got to these two beliefs, and it's like yes, yes, yes. Kind of we both knew it. It's like yes, yes, yes. And then we found the mother of all, all beliefs. Um, the hairs on the back of my, my neck are, oh, are going up because it was just one of those moments where you go. And she, I could see it in her. It was like, this is it. This is changing it. This has changed everything. This has made sense of everything. Everything falls into place. And it's, this is it. She'd not seen this before. I'd not seen, I mean, I didn't know. This was the unique belief, the mother of all beliefs that was holding everything in place in the wrong way. Uh, and finding that was awesome because then you know what it is. Then you can build a new belief to take you forward uh, and plan for that, but knowing what you're tackling. Otherwise, you're just trying to tackle something that you don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, but that's that's the belief that there's something wrong with us, but it isn't. It's just a, a, a mother of all beliefs getting in the way. We're not broken in any way. You know, you can change it. You can heal what's broken. And the third one, that's that many fingers. The third one is uh, the block that stops us is the reason. Ah, the reason I can't. There's so many reasons, but it's a double bind. Okay, we come up with so many reasons, um, what you want versus your belief. Okay, um, and which one wins out? Uh, if I say uh, your belief is the mother of all beliefs, it messes everything up and you can't change it. Uh, but you want something different for your life. Which one's going to win out? You know, it's it's the, the 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 mother of all beliefs wins out all the time. Your belief wins out. Um, and if you have low self-esteem, that is the core negative false beliefs, uh, that including the mother of all beliefs. Um, so if you have low self-esteem, you're already stuck, you know. Uh, and if you can, um, if you're not sure, if you've not taken the test before, uh, it's a free online test, 10 questions, two minutes to do. It's really simple, really easy. I don't get the results. It's completely confidential. It'll tell you whether you have a, you know, a score of 15 or lower. Um, and it will tell you whether you have this this issue. It's really simple. It's really easy. And, and the link to do that is on you know around here. So you can take the test, find out whether this is really you. And it's very confirming, really, really easy. It's like, crap, I've got this issue. And I didn't realize I had it. Because guess what? The internal versus the external. The external um, excuses, the reasons we can't do it, the money, the circumstances, the partner, the support. The, guess what? We don't see the internal because it's hidden from us we can't we're not aware of the internal so all we see are the external reasons we can't change guess what it remains hidden until we oh, I've got put there uh, until we have the light to shine on it and that's what the program does the pathway does um so the example uh, I, I mentioned emma and trina so um uh, when you see it when you see the, what's holding you back when you see this stuff the mother of all beliefs when you get that clarity it's powerful it's really, you know, it's like something you've not seen before. It kind of answers all these questions. It should be emotional. It's like, boom, you know, that emotion is palpable. That's why it puts the hairs on the neck, out, you know. Um, and it gives you this understanding that you've absolutely not had, had before, and it pulls everything together. It's just an awesome thing to have. Um, and that's, you know, your clarity on the mother of all beliefs. Now, can I remember them off the top of my head? Uh, so Trina, um, hers was, and, and this is the example uh, I give because it's, it's so, we're so unique. It's almost meaningless. Okay, so Trina's was, um, I can't be me. That doesn't mean anything to you, you know, but to her, it was like, poof, that made so much sense. And because, you know, she's so unique and she's got so many different experiences attached to that, but she hadn't seen it. Once she saw it, poof, changed everything. Emma's was, um, uh, uh, recognition isn't love. You know, to me, it's like, mm, uh, doesn't mean anything. But poof, in that context, I got it. It's like, for her, it's like, poof, wow, she'd never seen that before. Uh, for me, um, I'm useless for me uh, but you know you might go it's like what you're not and people have said you're not you know well you're not useless and you, you could say you, you're clearly not useless will you know come on you know you can do it but that doesn't change it somebody saying even the word to you you're not useless doesn't change it doesn't change it up here because you've got a deep mother of all beliefs um, and finding them is absolutely vital 
absolutely vital. And that's what's taken me 13 years. Not that on its own, everything, everything pulling together. But the experience of finding the mother of all beliefs is so key, so important and so powerful. So those are the three blocks that get in the way uh, of, uh, of us and stop us in life. Uh, and, you know, the, the first one, um, current solutions don't go deep enough that, you know, um, there, there's something wrong with us. The second one and the third one is the, you know, of oh, the reason I can't change. And it all comes down to the mother of all beliefs. You know, and I found the system. I've cracked the code. That's why I'm a bit excited. Uh, so, you know, how to overcome anxiety without cancelling, um, you know, because that might appeal more. You know, if I said how to solve the mother of all beliefs, you probably you go, what? What's he talking about? Um, so how to solve anxiety? Yeah, cool. OK, I'm in for that. You know, uh, it's actually the pathway coaching that we use. That's the vehicle for doing that. Um, and I encourage you to click on the link to find out how we can do it. Find out how you can do it. Find out more about this thing, uh, because the world needs a solution. Clearly, I'm showing you the stats, you know, from the World Health Organization. The world needs a solution. But maybe you need a solution as well, because I did. You know, I'm so excited uh, you know, that I finally got to this point, this point that uh, I'm able to share it with that clarity, with that, you know, knowing that it works. It's it's very exciting. I'd love to know what yours is. What's your mother all beliefs? Because it would be meaningless to other people. It's completely tied to you, completely tied to your experience. Uh, that makes intuitive sense. But, I, you know, it's not out there, this stuff, and, and it can be so powerful. So I wonder what yours is, you know. Um, come in, find out, uh, come and take the test if you haven't. Solving the real problem is key, and that's what I, I guess I was so confounded by, so I struggled with for so long. So uh, thank you very much for your time. Click on the link um, wherever it is around here. Uh, come and take the test or find out how you can join now, uh, join the pathway, uh, come and, you know, do that work that it takes and find out what, what's involved in that, um, to, to how you can solve the mother of all problems. All right. Many thanks for your time and speak to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.